the history, the culture, where we're coming from, from and all that. But just before we get into the nitty gritties of all these things, I'm joined in by... Mwanaima Salim. Mwanaima Salim is a principal curator Nairobi Museum and she's coming on board to just talk to us about the history of this museum, where it has come from, why it is important, why these different um, artifacts are here in this particular museum. Mwanaima, welcome to the program. You're on Good Morning Kenya. Good morning. How are you? Yeah, it's nice. Uh talking about the museum this morning and I'm talking about uh, the Nairobi Museum and um, the Nairobi Museum is a melting pot for the rich uh, discoveries on heritage matters. We have quite a lot of diverse rich discoveries so we, we, we are the melting point here. Uh, the Nairobi Museum was initiated in 1910 uh, by the, uh, the, the Kenya, uh, the, the East Africa and the Uganda uh, naturalists uh, who are keen in collecting and preserving uh, I mean and preserving culture. So um, they started uh, to collect and uh, the first uh, museum was at the present Nyayo House. Uh, eventually the place became too small because they continued to collect. They were passionate about collection and preserving. And uh, the, the, the museum, they put a building in 1922 at the present Serena Hotel. Uh, later, the place became smaller because they had continued to collect. And um, in, 19, uh, in 1922, uh, in 1929, uh, this space was given by the, uh, was dedicated by the colonial government to put up a museum. And uh, cons the construction began, and the museum opened in 1930. Yeah, and it was known as uh, the Corindon Museum. It was named after the first governor for that time, uh, Sir Robert uh, Corindon, in honor, because he was very passionate about collection and he was a member of the Natural History Society. Uh, in 1963, after the independence, the museum was renamed to Nairobi Museum and as National Museums of Kenya. Up to this date, it's referred to as the Nairobi National Museum. Yeah. Nairobi Ma National Museum. Just a long museum hill. For those that know yeah. where Museum Hill yeah. is, that's what you're talking about. But also, that's some rich history um, there, Salim, that you did just profile and put, put to us, ideally from 1910, you said? Yes, we're as old as that. You can imagine. And we have evolved over time. Yeah, yeah we've improved. We, the museum closed for renovation in 2005, and we adopted a diverse uh, uh, themes, diverse themes. Uh, the museum uh, is anchored on four pillars. That is nature, culture, history, and arts. Yeah. I'd, I'd just like you to explain to us very briefly for purpose of context and understanding. Mm -hmm. When you talk about these four pillars, you talked about nature, culture, history, and arts. Just yeah. very quickly, what do they signify? What do they mean? Okay, well, when you talk about nature, as you see, we, we, we talk about our environment. What is, uh, what is naturally ours? Like in this gallery, we have the birds gallery. We have the mammals gallery. Uh, we have a, a lot of galleries that depict on our natural environment. We, we endear to preserve nature as a museum. So we collect, we preserve and document nature. So we can tell the history of how our nature has evolved. We have some plants, for example, in our herbarium and the botanic garden that, uh, that dates to uh, so many years back that are now extinct. We have collections of mammals in our research departments. We have collections of birds. We have a diverse collection of fishes of all the natural uh, nature, what nature has to offer that we conserve because uh, the history uh, pr pr tells, uh, the history will determine the future. So we, we, we have all this, we collect, we preserve for pr post posterity. So that's actually what we do as in nature. And on matters culture, we look at our ways of life. Uh, as, as we evolve and as society co continues to evolve, we tend to lose most of these culture and history. So as a museum, we endear to 
preserve this for posterity again so that our history as a nation is not lost. We want to anchor our history so that we can tell it from generation to generation. So what the museum does is that we, 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 we really um, we, we endear to, 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 to help people know the importance of a conservation and preservation of our nature, culture, arts and history, which is quite important. Of course, we'll come back for more of this. I mean, this is just one of those places I can tell you for sure. If you've not visited National Museum, I don't know what you're doing.